Okay, this is just a quick video update on the crossover circuit. So what I'm experimenting with now is driving or lighting a filament bulbs, regular incandescent light bulbs. And you can see this one just barely glowing right now. But I'm trying to, you know, see what kind of runtime I can get lighting uh, incandescent bulbs. And this crossover circuit, by the way, it can drive incandescent bulbs and large LED bulbs. Um, I think there may be the opinion that it just drives small LED bulbs, but I've actually driven incandescent bulbs with it from the beginning since I came up with it, but I hadn't got them to continue to see light just on the capacitors until uh, last night. So, just wanted to document that. Um, right now I'm plugged into the power supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect from the power supply here. And you can see the bulb still just blowing along. And I have a pot here that I can adjust. So I'm going to start to tweak the pot up. You can see as I bring the resistance up on the pot, I can increase the uh, intensity of the glow there. Anyway, I just thought that was uh, really cool because that's a uh, kind of a new breakthrough for me to get any length of time lighting an incandescent on a uh, ringer circuit like this. So yeah, this crossover circuit definitely uh, has my interest. I'm cranking up there a little more. Look at that. So anyway, lighting incandescence off capacitor through the jewel ringer crossover circuit. So let me crank it up a little more here. I know we'll we'll drain those caps up. But yeah, there it went. So anyway, that's just a quick update. I'm experimenting with uh, extending the runtime. Uh, the way that I do that is I just hook up uh, my sensitive uh, multimeter between the capacitors. Um, or between a battery and the capacitors and I take measurement readings and when I get my I should say microamp draw as minimal as possible um, then I begin to to try running off the circuit so anyway just wanted to post a quick update on that I'm going back to continue uh, to try to replicate Gadget Mall's modifications to the crossover circuit Gadget Mall's done some really interesting things with it I had a uh, a replication of Gadget Mall's modifications running, and I started it uh, Friday afternoon and had it running. But I was using the Fuji Core transformer, and uh, Gadget posted he had built one like that as well, and he posted that was not working. So I need to get a uh, transformer core just like the one Gadget Mall had, and then I expect to see. Uh, some sort of results similar to what he was posting and talking about. I sure would like to see a, a circuit like this capable of charging a, a, a NICAD battery up to 7 volts while running. I think that would be awesome. And if, if I get that effect at all, I would love to sync it up with something like an incandescent uh, bulb for a serious load. I think we could take some pretty serious uh, measurements, power measurements and stuff, and, and make some exciting headway with that circuit. So excited about that uh, gadget. Definitely something I'll be trying to uh, to replicate to see the effects that you had there. So anyway, let's all keep experimenting with with this stuff. Very interesting. Uh, again, for me, a bit of a personal uh, breakthrough to be lighting uh, incandescent bulbs like this. So just just posting the update. All right. Talk later.